Welcome back to the Automotive Blockchain channel, everyone. Today, we will be reviewing Ocean Protocol and their delivery of a proof of concept for Daimler. And we're also going to take a look at a study done by SAE and Synopsys that found that 73% of the respondents are very concerned about the cybersecurity posture of the automotive technologies supplied by third parties. So let's get right into this. So let's kick this thing off with the Asian blockchain review. Over here on August 14th, Daimler explores blockchain technology for data sharing. And Daimler recently collaborated with Singaporean blockchain-oriented data sharing platform Ocean Protocol to explore the use of blockchain in data sharing. I know before we get into this, I know there may be some new people here that are new to cryptocurrency uh, coming in from the automotive sector. So what is Ocean Protocol? Well, first, let me back up. Ocean Protocol, uh, they just put in their tweet that they delivered a proof of concept to Daimler and they were doing this for their wrap up of July at Ocean Protocol. So what is Ocean Protocol? Going right to oceanprotocol.com. Their goal, build powerful Web3 applications for the data economy. Ocean Protocol helps developers build marketplaces and other apps to privately and securely publish, exchange, and consume data. I kind of like what they read over here on their mission about us page, and it says, we aim to unlock data for more equitable outcomes for users of data using a thoughtful application of both technology and governance. Our team and community is committed to a kickstarting a new data economy that reaches every single person, company, and device, giving power back to the owners and enabling people to capture value from data to better our world. In so many instances, if you want to think about this, uh, and I'm going to approach it uh, right now from a non-automotive perspective, but if you think about from all of the medical data that is out there, uh, and it is technically your personal data, uh, your personal information that the doctors have and they use, and in many cases sell or give or whatever to third parties for marketing, etc. So imagine a world where you could own that data, own your own personal information about your operating system, about your health. Well, then tie that in then to the automotive industry. Vehicles, as you know, have thousands upon tens of thousands of components. Manufacturers have tons and tons of proprietary information um, associated with that vehicle or vehicles. They are looking to have that data secured as well as being able to share certain parts of that data with third party entities. And this could mean insurance companies, etc. So back to the article, this technology will decentralize information to see how data streams across the supply chain and within the company can be within the company can be monetized. This move, Daimler will hopefully make large enterprises more confident about decentralizing data to to extract crucial information from the supply chain. Essentially, what they are saying here is that we are looking to make money, make paper, and I'll, albeit make some coin. Whether it be Bitcoin, some other type of token, whatever it is on their actual data. The data sharing will enable more transparency among everyone involved in the supply network while still keeping a tab on who can access which data. So they're gonna keep tabs on all of that. The key thing with this though, as a big bold letters right there, is the transparency and security of the information. In just a few moments, I'll be bringing up the SAE and Synopsys uh, study that they had shown with cybersecurity issues that they found in the automotive industry. So stay tuned for that coming in just a few moments. A business network is a treasure trove of valuable information, but most of this data is lost or remains scattered throughout the system. Now think about that, lost. That note, the way this article reads means that it's completely lost and can be dispersed out to anyone at any point in time. Please don't misconstrue that. Uh, it's not exactly lost in that respect. It's just with so many silos within the automotive industry from different suppliers that feed into the main manufacturer, the OEM, uh, they, they just data just doesn't get from one computer system or one entity to the other very quickly. Uh, there's a lot of roadblocks involved with that. So the blockchain is going to help streamline that process. Continuing, businesses 
are realizing just how valuable this disseminated data is. But unfortunately, harmonizing the information can cost com uh, companies millions. One million dollars. So this expense can be slashed if companies leverage on blockchain to collect the share of data over its network. To ensure this crucial data remains secured, Ocean Protocol has come up with a secret ingredient called Federated Machine Learning in its blockchain-based sharing platform. This protects the training data that will remain behind the confines of the company's firewalls, prohibiting direct access. Now, all that being said, and I really appreciate Ocean Protocol putting this out and the things that Ocean Protocol does, uh, especially when they put place in, uh, in marketplaces within the automotive industry. Let's move on then to the security side of things. Looking back into just in 2018, the study was done and I am 100% 100% sure it is completely relevant for today. Poneman Institute um, had conducted this study, Securing the Modern Vehicle, a study of automotive industry cybersecurity practices. And just so you know, it is an independent study commissioned by SAE International and Synopsis. And it's an 18 page document. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but uh, links will be in the description to it. That said, I will go over a couple of highlights from it. First, starting with the executive summary. Synopsis and SAE International partnered to commission this independent survey of the current cybersecurity practices within the automotive industry to fill a gap that has existed for far too long. So they're literally, uh, I think they're coming out the gate right up front saying, look, there's some serious problems here and we're gonna go ahead and start revealing some things here. Let's dig a little deeper. As this report demonstrates both automobile OEMs and their suppliers are struggling to keep the technologies used in their products. 84% repeat, 84% of the respondents to our survey have concerns that cybersecurity practices are not keeping pace with the ever evolving security landscape. And as you can see here, they show a quick chart. 84% have concerns that cybersecurity practices are not keeping pace with evolving technologies. 30% do not have an established product, cybersecurity program, or team. Do you realize this? 30%. Another 63% test less than half of the hardware, software, and other technologies for vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities. Repeat, 63% test less than half of the hardware, software, and other technologies. That is huge, folks. Um, you know, I, I don't mean to over-dramatize this, but to me, when I look at some of these numbers off of this particular study, I think it seems like there is a real-world problem here that blockchain, quite frankly, could help solve. So I'm gonna go down to page 13, but I kinda of wanna read you just some of the big, bold head, uh, highlights here. So, software in the automotive supply chain presents a major risk. Connected vehicles offer a unique security issues. That's kind of interesting. And I'll read a little bit on this as, um, respondents to our survey viewed that technologies with the greatest risk to be RF technologies, such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth telematics and self-driving autonomous vehicles. This suggests non-critical systems and connectivity are low-hanging fruit for attacks and should be the main focus. So that is very interesting when it comes to the connected vehicles. Um, now, scrolling down here to, and they give, they give a couple of studies in here uh, with a couple of questions. Please take some time to go ahead and read this, uh, read it through. I'm going to cruise down to page 13, where it reads, vulnerabilities and quality issues are a result of a lack of consistent use and secure software development in lifecycle practices. And this is some of the, some very interesting statistics come out of here. I'm going to pop this one out. 60% of the respondents say a lack of understanding training on secure coding practices leads to vulnerabilities in automotive software technology components. 55% cite accidental coding errors. As we skip down to the supply chain and third party component. And remember, just over here in the Daimler uh, article, we were talking about the supply chain and sharing of information. So when we go over here to this article, notice very quickly, supply chain and third party component challenges. There are challenges with this. So perhaps as I'm suggesting, Ocean Protocol will help solve some of these challenges. Here we go. 
the automotive industry's complex and disparate supply chain is a major culprit in causing quality issues rendering security vulnerabilities. The frequent integration of third-party components, software, communication, protocols, applications, often introduce threat vectors that OEMs must address. Several key takeaways were related to these factors. Big statistic that pops out of this is 73% of respondents are very concerned, repeat, very concerned about the cyber security posture of automotive technology supplied by third parties. It's not so much they're saying the OEMs, it's saying, hey, these third party entities that have factories of their own, have different protocols for, the, uh, for maintaining their own data standards, uh, we're a little concerned about that. Another 68% are also very concerned about the cybersecurity posturing of the industry as a whole. So you can go down here and look at this. One last thing I am going to say about this, and that is as follows. With the methods that they looked at, a sampling frame of 15,000 IT security practitioners and engineers in the automotive industry were selected as participants in this survey. You can go on and read more about it. One thing uh, to note on this, just so you understand, is that you can see this little chart down here, uh, over 50, or excuse me, by design, more than half, 60%, hold engineer or higher ranking positions. So this is a wrap up, everyone. You saw earlier about Mercedes-Benz working with the Ocean Protocol to help solve some of the supply chain communications and being able to monetize the data. One of the important things about that data and sharing it across through the, through the supply chain is its security. Just a little bit before that, in 2018, SAE, along with Synopsys, had put out this particular article here, uh, excuse me, this case study here, uh, discussing a lot of cybersecurity issues that they had found in their case study within the automotive industry. Go ahead, take some moment, look at this particular article, and of course, please, if you've liked this video, go ahead, hit the like button, also hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.